Stay loyal to what you say you'll do, even after the mood has left. Hey, welcome back. Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. So I'm finally back here in Arizona at home. We had such an amazing week last week. We're out at Funnel Hacking Live in Florida. So many great speakers, so many great men, women, everything that was just inspiring and so many great strategies and thoughts that were shared with us. And I'm gonna to continue to share some of those things with you guys. You know, we had Trent Sheldon, Anthony Trucks, Russell Brunson, Tony Robbins, Garrett White, just the list goes on and on. Some of the most amazing men and women that you can even imagine. But one of the things I was thinking about today was a message from Trent Sheldon that he said, stay loyal to the things you say you'll do even after the mood is gone and you know when he first said that i was thinking about all the things you know when you're working with somebody and you say you'll do something because they're right there or you've got plans but as the mood leaves you change your mind or you're not as excited but i want you to think about that for yourself too you know a lot of times you get excited about something like look at this i've been in full immersion with four full days of 9 a.m to 10 p.m of some of the most inspiring and incredible people. And you know, you leave things like that and you're excited to get working on projects and doing different things. And, but what about when you get home? You know, now it's back to all catching up on all the things that I got behind on and all the day-to-day -day stuff. All the stuff I was excited to get home and work on, do they get bumped because you've got everything else you're gonna do? Or can you stay loyal to those things, those commitments you made to yourself? Forget about, I mean, of course, this applies to those things that you commit to other people, but I'm specifically talking about yourself right now. Think about the commitments you make to yourself. Do you stay loyal to that? Athletes, when you get excited about your future and your prospects of what you're gonna do, and you commit to the work you're gonna put in, the workouts you're gonna do, the mental training you're gonna do, do you actually do it? Or does that wear off when the excitement wears off and the work comes in? Entrepreneurs, do you stay excited about the things that you're planning and the goals that you're trying to achieve? Or do you forget about it when things get tough? I want you to look at your goals, look at all the things that you're doing, whether you're an athlete, entrepreneur, coach, whatever you are, the things that get you excited stay loyal to your commitments to yourself so that you can take those things to the next level there's so many things i want to share with you from uh funnel hacking live i'll continue to share a lot of those throughout the at least the next week but look at the things that you're doing what do you need help on to be to be able to stay committed and do those things let's jump on a strategy call send me a dm or email me at jeff jeff let's talk about the things that you need to do to stay committed, stay loyal to your commitments and yourself so that you can achieve all your big dreams and goals. Thanks for being with me today. I'll be back again in the morning. Hey, athletes and parents of athletes. So much time, money, and effort is put into the physical aspect of your sport to become the best you can be. But the mental game, it's often neglected and it's just as important as the physical game. In fact, it's usually the differentiator between the good and the great athletes. Come and join me in the Confident Athlete Program where you'll learn to control your confidence, develop a powerful mindset, and unlock your full potential. Go to jeffhagey.com slash confidentathlete to find out more. I look forward to seeing you there.